Hi everyone and welcome. So today we're gonna take a look at this power inverter. Uh, this is made by, let's find out. I've already taken a peek at it. Sian KG. And this is supposed to be their 2.2 kW model. Now, will it actually do 2200? No. Will it do a thousand? Probably. Um, it's relatively heavy actually, so they've got, there's some copper in there. It comes with 10 square millimeter cables. Uh, let's have a look at the cut ends there. This looks to actually be real copper and not copper clad aluminum. So at least that's a plus. Got the screws. Uh, washers, some battery clips. Let's see, battery clips which you can use if you want, but I'm not going to because I'm gonna hook this up to my current shunt. Actually, pretty decent clips, I have to say. They're very strong. That's a surprise. Cigarette lighter, don't use these. This is garbage. You'll only be able to get like a hundred watts out of it, and the fuse will pop. You get some extra screws, really? Is there a ground lug on this somewhere? Where you're supposed to put that screw? No? Interesting. <laughs> okay, not interested in those. Put that over here in my pile of boxes, which I'm gonna use to sell stuff later. I'm gonna get my bench powered up here so that we can see something there you go that's running off of a big isolation transformer so here it is Sian Keshi 2200 watts cooling fan power input power output and uh, yeah that's it let's have a look at this booklet see what it says I've already had a look at it in the car while I was waiting Blah uh, blah blah blah. This is not even for this model, I found out. <laughs> but they've got some specs which are probably not applicable to this because it's not the right models, as you can see. But 0 to 100% load continuous, 120% for 10 seconds, 150% for 1 second. Factory setting 22 volts. I assume they mean 220 plus and minus 3%. Through settings 200, 220, 232, 40. Not sure who wants a 200 volt inverter, but okay. I don't think this one has any options. Might be able to adjust it inside on a potentiometer. Frequency 50 plus minus half a hertz. 60. Uh, load. 2,240 maps. I don't think this is very useful because this isn't even for this model. They've got yeah, some basic bull crap, not worth my time. Um, I'm gonna take this apart and have a little bit of a peek inside this. But let's apply a bit of electrons to it first. To 13 volts, full current. Oh, interesting. 228 volts actually frequency 49.6 uh, I would have liked to see in 50.00 but we'll see if we can adjust that later 227 let's see if it changes with the input voltage yeah it does 10.6 volts 222 14 volts 228 now it has to have some decent regulation actually now we're at 13.8 224, 13, 223, 11.6, 220, 10.6. Yeah, it actually has pretty good voltage regulation. 228. I would have liked to see a bit closer to 50 hertz though. Let's see the percentage. Not very really useful. Okay, let's get a transformer. Hook it up to a smelloscope and we'll see 
how the waveform looks like on the osmeloscope. It draws about an amp, so 12 watts or so of idle consumption, I'd say that's quite alright. Well, let's grab a power transformer of some kind. I have plenty of those tucked away here, so I'll get a power transformer out and I'll be back. Okay, I got a transformer out, and we're hooked up to the oscilloscope, excuse the mess. This is the output. It actually looks very nice. Look at that. Huh. I am actually kind of impressed. I wonder if it looks that nice under load too. Yeah, that is. Hey, that's actually pretty nice. If we zoom into the sign where we can see that it is digitally created. You can see that there is tiny sawtooth. So it's a SPWEM driver. Which is fine, absolutely fine. Yeah, this is looking really, really nice. Actually, I know the camera kind of doesn't pick this up well, but... Yeah, this is this is actually very nice. I like this already. This is a good start. A very good start. And let's turn it off. It dies instantly. Let's see if I look and see if it has Yeah, it does have soft start actually. Hey, I'm liking this. Let's change the If the voltage gets too low, it just makes a silent beep. It's not obnoxiously loud very nice very 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 nice I am actually impressed now I wasn't expecting that <laughs> very nice okay so let's have a look inside this thing I would like to adjust that frequency uh, I would like to see it closer to 50 cycles per second. Let's see. That's the voltage at my uh, oscilloscope. 49.8 now. Hey, it's actually better under load. Okay. I am I am impressed. This is what I like to see very beautiful sine wave output okay so let's have a little looksy wooksy in here we've got one two on this side here we got one two we got four very large MOSFETs I suspect those are the high voltage MOSFETs for the output and here on this side we've got one two Three, four, five, six MOSFETs. Um, we got one, two, three transformers, and they look pretty decently sized. Not gonna lie. Capacitor there. These are not straight. I know this. I'll try and fix that while I'm in here. Uh, we got the PC board here, the little extra thing that looks to be control board. Yeah, and like I suspect that I can see a SPWM board there. And uh, how can we adjust the voltage and frequency on this without taking it apart? Can we? Probably not. You would have to take everything apart. And I'm not even sure how the people that built this managed to put it together. Because there is literally no way of putting those bloody... Uh, things on the MOSFETs like the hold down thing is you just can't 
without completely taking everything apart and there's also glue here I know this so yeah I'm not gonna take it apart any more than this but yeah this looks promising definitely does and the terminals here to the outlet the ground pin is not connected oh I'm very zoomed in the ground pin is not connected uh, only the live and neutral and they seem to be welded on no soldered the switch is soldered and we got a little voltmeter in the front there and uh, yeah that's basically all there's to it very nice I'm happy with the output waveform of this it's got an excellent it's got an excellent output waveform. Yeah, I'm happy with that. This actually looks like it could do probably a thousand watts. It's not gonna do 2200, there's not a chance, but a thousand watts for the money that I paid for this is still incredibly good. Well, okay, not much to say about this. Um, I'm gonna reassemble it and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here is the inverter it's going to be replacing. Yes, yeah, you can see that thing has seen better days. <laughs> I'm gonna use the included wires because I think they're more than adequate enough. The positive is gonna go from the positive terminal up to the inverter directly and the Negative needs to go to the current shunt there. Uh, this wire needs to be joined with this fuse holder. I forgot to bring a spanner of course. So I'm gonna need to go get a spanner. Okay, I got it installed. It took about 20 minutes. Positive goes straight there and a the negative goes through the current shunt. We got power. And uh, let's switch on our lights. Boom. We can see it regulates the voltage up. Excellent. Drawing a little bit of power here. Hell yeah. And there's no buzzing or anything. It's nice and silent. The fan is not turning on yet, at least. So that's very nice. And my plug fits kind of weirdly into that outlet, but eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> it'll, it'll do. And uh, yeah, 225 volts. forty nine point six Hertz yeah it's looking really really nice let's put a bit more load on it let's add my little light to it let's plug it in here or well let's turn this on here's the soldering iron 100 watts soldering iron is on voltage 223 so you can see we're now really drawing some power here. Let's add my light over there, which I believe is a 60 watt. And it's running just fine. Voltage 224. We're drawing 40 amps. Fan is running. But I frankly don't think it's going to overheat in this cold weather, but it's running so it's powering quite a bit of load right now let's see if these wires are getting warm I doubt it but let's check it anyways hell yeah 
my old inverter would blow up if I tried to run this and here's the old inverter by the way what a joke <laughs> I even had to modify it in order to make it start heavy loads this is a 300 watt and it's modified sine wave so absolute garbage <laughs> piece of shit I paid I think $55 for this and it's a pure sine wave and uh, even if it doesn't do the power it's still well worth it because locally you will have to pay like I don't know for an inverter that's 300 watts and pure sine wave you'd have to pay quite a bit and if you switch that load off then it goes silent so it's load controlled very very nice and here's the voltage now 230 yeah I am liking this there is absolutely no heat then again I wouldn't expect any from such a small load hell yeah it's working really really nice let's kick all this on again no problem and there is not even any like dim in the lights when you do that so that is just perfect this is a very nice unit I like it I like it a lot now the voltage is very good <laughs> 230 it regulates to always keep between 220 and 230 depending on the battery voltage frequency is a tad bit low but I'm not gonna worry about it yeah I am satisfied definitely so let's dump some load let's start with the 200 watts or so soldering iron and and the light my old light here we go and the voltage dipped a little bit and it's now compensating for it let's turn on the main light no difference beautiful I am very happy with this actually and I'm gonna do a proper load test on this later with a variac and a heater so that we can see how much power it actually does before tripping out however I have no doubts about this thing doing at least a kilowatt now seems really nice very powerful I like it so yeah I'm impressed very impressed I wasn't expecting it to work this well <laughs> I'll say that beauty <laughs> <laughs> 